If you've never ever thought about your butthole in a loving way, man, what a, what a gold mine. What an opportunity. Hey, my beautiful friends. How are you? My name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching. It's just me today on the Connor and Brittany show. And I'm really excited to talk to you about prostates today and about stimulating your prostate and uh, perhaps your partner's prostate as well. Let's, let's just jump into it. Um, you know, I've been a prostate stimulating advocate for quite a while now and uh, I just could not tell you enough times how beneficial it is for me personally and after speaking to a lot of people with prostates who went from not only not stimulating their prostate but really feeling like locked up in their butthole to stimulating their prostate, um, connecting with their ass a bit more, that just how freeing it is. And it's, it's not just a physically uh, freeing thing, it's really tied into emotion. And I think a lot of men put a lot of stress into their butthole, into their sphincter, and into their prostate. And that's why prostate cancer is the number one cancer of men. Uh, I believe that cancer is really uh, derived from stress and our body experiencing stress physically, emotionally, mentally, and then storing it in our system and that resulting in uh, the stimulation of, of cancerous cells. So you can, you can argue with me on that. I mean, I, there's a lot of different things that create stress in our lives. It could be food, it could be an emotional event, <clears throat> could be uh, overworking, uh, bad air, it could be all kinds of things. So that shows up in the body. And when those things happen to us physically, what's one of the best ways to open ourselves back up? It's by touch. And not only, I mean, you know, you, you, can, you, can, <laughs> you can't touch something you're not thinking about. And if you're grossed out by a part of your body, I mean, if you got a knot like up in your shoulder blade and you were just grossed out by your shoulder blade and you had been told since you were a little kid that your shoulder blade is, is dirty and gross and smelly and it's a no-no to touch it, I mean, you know, that like that knot is just going to persist. And that's, what ha that's what's happened to our prostate. That is, is what happened uh, to our buttholes and to our asses, you know? Uh, many of us as children, we were just told some weird stuff about our genitals and particularly our buttholes. Uh, so think about it that way. Think about your butthole and your ass and your prostate as just another part of your body and it's most likely never been touched before and uh, many of us haven't even really thought about it in a positive way and we haven't thought about it in a loving way. So that's that's like a, a, a really keen point to take home from this video. Your butthole and your prostate are part, part of your body. Uh, it, just like any other part of your body, it needs to be touched. It needs to be stretched. It needs to be worked out. It needs to be stimulated. It needs the right amount of stress and then it needs the, the right amount of rest. And most of us are storing a lot of stress in there and not letting it rest. And we're not massaging it out. We're not, we're not you know, stretching it. I mean, you don't, you don't have to stretch your prostate, but um, it's a metaphor. Okay, so medically speaking, scientifically speaking, uh, there are some researchers out there doing, doing some um, collecting data on people who stimulate their prostates. From what I've seen, it's all self-reported. Um, it doesn't mean that it's, it's not viable to check that stuff out. It is interesting, but there's not a ton of people out there doing research on prostate stimulation in connection with health. So what you'll find if you do a little research, uh, people have self-reported that by stimulating their prostate, they have uh, reduced prostatitis, which is the swelling of the prostate, and they've reduced symptoms from prostatitis. And a couple uh, known symptoms of prostatitis um, are, are uh, painful, painful urination and erectile dysfunction. Of course you can have both of those things and they're, they're not related to your prostate. But a lot of people are having those symptoms because their prostate is 
a little swollen, it's a little inflamed, it hasn't been touched, it hasn't gotten love. Again, we're just storing stress in there. Um, obviously, it has a lot to do with how we're eating, how much we're pooping. It has a lot to do with, with all kinds of stuff. But regardless, if you think about it as storing stress, whether it's from the food you eat or the air you breathe or not sleeping enough or working too much, um, having a, an emotional, uh, uh, external influence that you haven't really sufficiently taken care of, all, all that stuff, it's got to go somewhere. And again, for, for a lot of us that have prostates, it's going into our prostate. So this is a very, 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 very powerful place to explore. Um, if you've never, ever thought about your butthole in a loving way, man, what a, what a gold mine. What an opportunity. You know, this is like, You've got something here to really uh, experiment with. So I'm excited for you. This is definitely for anyone. It doesn't matter if you love playing with your butthole or you've never played with your butthole. But I really, really want to focus on those who've never played with their butthole and tell you, try it out. So I want to show you um, one really, really beautiful and awesome toy. And yeah, I'm partial to it because I sell it, uh, but I sell it because I love it. And all the toys on CB Sex Shop, they're all toys that are super high grade, super high level that we have used and find a lot of value in and really, really love. Um, if you are going to spend time with your butthole, or your genitals in general, I think it's really worth it to buy material that is legit. So that's high grade medical steel, that's what this is, that's stone, that's uh, crystals, and um, super high grade latex. If you do end up using latex, make sure it's super, super high grade. So you can find this particular prostate stimulator on cbsexshop.com. Uh, it, look, if you don't like the commercial aspect of me, like, you know, showing you this thing and then also kind of selling it to you, just forget about it. Don't, don't buy this and just pay attention to the other things I have to offer you here. Um, so this toy is cool. There's a lot of toys that are relatively similar. I'll tell you why I like this one in particular, but I also want to tell you that they make all kinds of prostate stimulation toys. There are a lot of prostate massagers out there. Personally, I don't like the massagers. And certainly for someone just starting out using, uh, trying to find, locate their prostate, uh, you wanna be gentle. You don't wanna just shove something in there and turn on a button. It's kinda like, you're just kinda disconnected from it. Um, so I, I, I don't really recommend the massagers unless you're experienced and you know that you like that type of stimulation. But for these purposes, you know, be just starting out, I think it's really important to have a toy that's going to be relatively easy to find your prostate on your own and to also be able to have some time so that it feels comfortable enough so that you can kind of find where your prostate is. And if you don't know where your prostate is, you can certainly Google it, but I'll try and explain it to you relatively well. If I was, or if you were, laying on your back and, and you're, you know, just putting your knees up, right? Knees up, laying on your back. This could be inserted either direction. Obviously the ball is bigger on one side than it is on the other. Let's, for, for new buttholes, let's use a small one. So you'd enter your butthole and you would curl up and you'd probably want it in about, about this deep. So you can see there's a bit of, a, a bit of length in there you have to insert. Um, which is why using your fingers is, is generally not possible if you're using your own fingers or if you can, it's like kind of uncomfortable. I also think using your fingers, you just have like less, uh, less slickness. You have more traction on skin. So I don't recommend that with new buttholes either. This is like the smoothest thing you could insert in your butt, honestly. It's just incredible. And this ball makes it so that when you do hit your prostate, you can really, you have a decent amount of surface to kind of play around with it. So what does it feel like when you hit your prostate? It, it feels like a combination of really good, like you're kind of gonna come, and also like you kind of gotta pee. And I would say 
you're definitely gonna know. So if you're in there and you're like, oh, I think I'm on it, you're probably not on it. It's really quite obvious. It's referred to as the male G-spot. People have uh, self-reported, and I, I don't know if there's medical literature on it, but you can have prostate orgasms where you don't ejaculate. You can also have prostate orgasms where you ejaculate without touching your penis. I have had the latter, and they it is amazing. So either way, <laughs> You know, you're gonna feel it is what I'm saying. When it's in there, you're gonna feel it. What I love about this is that you do have the two options. It's super easy to hold because of the ball on the end. You have plenty of room to play around and to, and to feel what's going on in there. It also just feels like one of the few toys that I've had in my ass that doesn't feel irritating whatsoever. Like I could have it in there all day long and it wouldn't, it wouldn't cause me any issues. So, this is an awesome toy. That's all I'm going to say. Um, there are, like I said, lots of different options out there. I would get something that's long enough, that is curved, and that has a little ball on the end, uh, just to make it easy for yourself. <sighs> Prostate simulation is the bomb. Um, doctors are beginning to recommend it more frequently for people just as like a general health thing and definitely for people who are having trouble urinating, erectile dysfunction, they know that they have a swollen prostate, all of those things can be really good. I'm personally really, really curious if there's any information out there with a correlation between people who stimulate their prostate and a reduction in prostate cancer. I personally, it would make sense to me that it would have a very positive effect reducing the possibility of cancer. I will say this, you know, right now that I am not a medical professional. I am just a just a guy who's advocating um, uh, sex positivity, body positivity, asshole, prostate positivity, and you may want to check with your doctor before stimulating your ass, especially if you, you have pre-existing conditions, because they certainly are going to have more information on the workings of your anatomy than I do. This is more like experiential information that I'm, that I'm passing on and sharing to you. But as I said, uh, doctors are recommending it more frequently. Uh, some are recommending it once a month, some are recommending it once a week. And I personally think it's a wonderful thing if you include it once a month into your just general self-care. And it doesn't have to be a sexual experience. I would imagine that it would be because it feels sexually stimulating, but just think about it as a massage or as a stretch, like doing some yoga or getting out your, you know, the Theracane and just doing, doing some massage on your shoulder, uh, rolling on one of those foam rollers. It's the same thing. It's just in a body part that you have literally paid zero attention to except to like, like laugh at because it happens to fart, you know? Like that's not very nice. So like love your prostate, love your butthole, love your ass. And I would really, really, really recommend that you do this first on your own, by yourself, make it really safe, make it really loving for yourself. And at some point, you know, if you want to invite someone else to stimulate your, your prostate, once that feels safe for you, go for it. But I do think that it's a very vulnerable and powerful thing. And that having some space just for you to explore it initially would be very wise. Prostate Stimulation, thank you so much for watching. CBSexShop.com. <laughs> it's harder to say than I would have thought. Get on over there, you can get this cool toy. And we also have a bunch of stones and crystals over there. And we're going to be adding more to it soon. So you can sign up for the newsletter if that behooves you. And I just send you so much love. And I hope you're doing awesome. And I really, really, really hope your prostate is feeling excited by being talked about today. Mwah! Love you. Ciao.